the radar, of course, also becomes a plotter. And we'll plot over. That's all. It just takes a, a moment to take to remove itself. Um, that's right now where we're at. If we want to zoom in a little bit, you can see the right up top of the screen here is where the boat's located, and it's in Vinoy Basin. So. Even at nighttime, you can go in and out of here just with the plotter alone, not just using the radar. Yeah. So, if you hit find ship in this one, it centers it around the boat. Yeah. It gives you the water depth. It also gives you all the markers and uh, your channels. So, and also, if there's any kind of a, a danger underwater, it gives you that too. Beacons, things like that, lighthouses are all part of that. Yeah. And then down here, if you if you can see the find, it says it has an airport in here. You can just see the airplanes, and that's Albert Whitted Airport. That's the south end of the uh, boating, the marina area. And then the GPS is where. The, the plotter gets his information from, and the GPS, as you can see, I don't know, there's a lot of glare from my angle, but uh, you can see it has a lot long up on it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want, if you wanted to go to a waypoint, you go to your GPS and you uh, uh, ask us to go to someplace. And in our case, uh, we're going to waypoint number 13, and, and if you look at it, it tells us. Uh, the angle or bearing to it is 186 degrees, and uh, the di distance is uh, 184 nautical miles. So I think that was an old waypoint. I think it's like Key West or something. Uh, uh, so, Could you point to the, those points? Oh, sure. Right up top here, it says waypoint 13, and it says bearing, BRG is the abbreviation, and then below it, distance to go, and then it says 186 degrees uh, magnetic, and below that, 184 nautical miles. You know. yeah. okay. The uh, VHF radio, it's used for the main communications on, the, on, the, on all boats, even freighters. So you can talk to freighters with it. You can talk to land. Different channels are designated land. This channel we're on is 16. It happens to be uh, our emergency and hailing channel. Uh, there's other ones designated in certain areas, like in Boston, they use 16 and 9. Here we just use 16. Uh, you want to call another boat, you hail them on this. They'll tell you to go to a working channel, which in certain areas is different numbers, but here we use 68, 69, 70, 72, 71 as our, our working channels. Uh, 13 is also used. You use that to hail, sometimes hailing bridges. Nine, we hail bridges here also. Uh, it has a range of line of sight, and in, on a sailboat, it's being 60 feet up, it gives you about a 25 mile range. On a, a powerboat, where it maybe is only 15 feet up above the water, it only gives you maybe a 10 to 12 mile range. So you have to be figure that in. Uh, depending on the height of the antenna on the boat, I've already reached out 60 miles from middle of Florida Bay to Miami to talk to the Coast Guard during a storm, uh, my, my antenna was maybe 40-some feet above the water. Now, now, there's a lot of handheld antennas, I mean um, VHS, that people use for short-distance stuff, or if they go out in their small dinghy and talk to another dinghy, but this is the main uh, communications device for a boat. Uh, 